out. Ooh, look at that swoop. Back in the bathroom. In a previous episode, I took you all with me to the hair salon and we talked about color and products that I use at the end of my hair routine. Today, we're taking it all the way back. We are starting from the beginning. I'm going to walk you through my blow drying techniques in the morning before I go to work. I try to find products and tools that are gonna help me style faster. I need to find tools and products that work quickly and efficiently so I don't damage my hair any more than I have to. So, I've got a couple of things to show you. First, I use three different brushes. We got one for the top, two for the back, and this third one here, it's my big bad gal. This is for um, underneath to add some volume. And I'm looking at this and I really did try to clean out all the hair and the brushes before we started, so forgive me. I also use a detangling solution before I actually start anything. This is the first thing that goes in my hair. Let's go ahead, take the wrap off, get started. The oil oil literally takes one squirt. That's all you need. And then I work it on the top, the bottom, and all throughout. Kind of smooths it out. And that's really all you need to start it with. It's super light. I go through and part my hair so that I can distribute the mousse evenly. I don't want to get too much of a clump in the front or the back. That's about all of the foam I use. This is the volume boosting mousse for long lasting buoyant textures. And it really is. So that's about all I need. And I'll run my comb through it. And I'll just start it up here at the top and I'll do it on both sides going out for my part. I've mentioned in previous episodes as well that I am a product hog, so I overuse product, but we all know that if you use too much product in your hair, you're not gonna get the style that you want. Um, it's gonna end up being greasy or weighted down, and I don't want that. So I learned a while back to just kind of dab it through my comb. Well, I watched my stylist do it, and uh, that way I can get it through, and I'm not overdoing it. Now that the product's in, it's time to blow dry. I always start by bending my head over first and spraying some nice warm air underneath it to start drying it. So now that I've dried it a little bit, I'll start working from the top. Typically, you start from the bottom up when blow drying your hair, but I like to start at the top and then go back to the bottom because I noticed for years that by the time I got to the top, it was dry and I couldn't style it properly. So I thought, well, let's just start at the top first. That's what we're gonna do. And at the top, I use my small brush. This is about an inch, inch and a half, and it's a square brush. The square brush allows me to have a better grip of the hair, get closer to the root to make sure it's completely straight when I'm moving the brush out. So I start from the front up here, these little smaller pieces that I have. And for me, it's all about how you style your hair in the morning. I like to go underneath and kind of push it back, a tad Farrah Fawcett-esque. But some people will go underneath and blow it dry, and that's fine too, obviously. It's your preference. So I'll start with that side. I've got a mirror below, by the way, so I'm looking at the mirror and then looking all up at you. I start up here too with my bangs. My bangs are the hardest to control. And I like to have that really pretty swoop in the morning. I typically go over each piece in the front maybe seven or eight times, maybe more, depending on how wet it is, depending on how quickly I've finished my makeup. And this is so I can get it super, super straight. Notice with this square brush, I can get super close to my scalp. And with low heat, it doesn't burn. And that way, it's super straight there. But if you notice, as I'm blow drying with this brush, it's giving a lot of body to the top of my hair. I'll bring the medium sized square brush in sometimes to kind of lengthen these pieces out, otherwise they can get kind of this weird tight curl. If 
this point, I have finished the top. I've lifted it. I've created that nice swoop that I want. I've given some body here. You see this is all straight. I might even go a little extra today since I've let this dry a little bit because we've been chatting. And go ahead and straighten this part out too so it doesn't get real kinky. And then one more time over this piece over here and just go back a little bit and hold it there. So we're good. The top part of my hair is finished and I'm gonna backtrack and go underneath. I'm gonna amp it up a little bit here for you. So once again, I'll take each piece, start from the root, really get the root dry. But you can see this, um, this tighter brush has allowed me to get a nice curl um, under. I decided to start growing my hair out a few months ago and I'm in that awkward stage where you just want to cut it. I don't know how long I'm going to let it grow, probably only another couple of inches, but right now I'm in that medium phase that we've all been there and we just have to grin and bear it until we can get past our shoulders. So this square brush really allows me to get a nice curl under. Sometimes I just have to leave the brush in there because it doesn't want to behave and I use it almost like a like a curling iron because it wants to flip out so badly. I feel like sometimes the bottom of the hair is often overlooked. It's like, nah, just get through it. But this is the stuff that's really going to look nice and finished if you spend a little bit of extra time on it. I'm using my big daddy here and I'm using this for the pieces in the front to add volume. I'll shoot the blow dryer up to add that extra volume starting from the root again, going out, and then holding it there. I go ahead and get it placed and, and touch it, and start. Honestly, I'll leave a hairbrush back there for a little bit, just to act as a curling iron. Once I've pulled that out and I've let it sit there for a little bit, then you've got this just nice body in the back. I mean, I can, I can see and feel, well, I can't see, you can see, but I can feel the uh, kind of the root lift there in the back. The last piece here, I'm gonna grab my medium sized brush and I'm gonna start working the top again. I'll go through periodically after I've straightened it and I'll add the big brush in and I'll just let it sit there for a minute. Let it do its thing until I get a nice body in the background. Look at that. That has such a good body. You can see, a, you can see that space in between. And that's what I'm looking for. So let's talk about brushes. I think investing in at least one good brush is important to make the drying process faster. But here's another thing I notice with a nicer brush. I get more of a shine to my hair. I'm gonna finish up, go through some of the front parts one more time just to make sure they're smooth again. Most of the time when I'm blow drying my hair, I like to push the pieces forward so they can frame your face. But when it comes to the top of my hair, since um, it is so thick and it can be kind of heavy, I will actually blow dry it back. Nice lift there. And there you go. That's it. People will ask that question, what is one thing you could not live without? A lot of people will say their iPhone, that definitely ranks towards the top, but if I had to choose something, it'd be a straightener. And voila, smoother hair. Well, over there, underneath, give a nice lift. Ooh, look at that swoop. I've been working years for that swoop. It has taken me forever. <laughs> Proud of that swoop. And uh, up in the front to make sure that stays up. There you go. That's it. That is my process in the morning. All of these products that I use today, I'll make sure that I put links at the bottom for you. If you have any tips or um, tricks that you want to share, any products that help you blow dry your hair, please share them with me. And if you like what you saw, go ahead, click the like button, and don't forget to subscribe. We have a new video coming out every Monday. 
I don't have to go to work right now and I have blow-dried hair. I think it's about time to go out. Have a good week.